Boom! Oh, we get a cool gun for doing this, don't we? Cool. Oh yeah. Is it? Is it really this early? Yeah, yeah. Cool. See, um, we took, spoke about this earlier. How um, Jack gets really annoyed at these guys for destroying the statue. Yeah. Even though he destroyed a statue earlier, and you know, um, sometimes a script sort of want, make, wants you to feel something or make you think something, but it feels a bit like contrived, if you know what I mean. Like if Get they, the fucking way, piece if, of shit. If they didn't destroy the statue, they couldn't have, um, you know. Ah, motherfuckers! What? Oh, if fun. they didn't destroy the statue, um, the time the bootstrap paradox couldn't be fulfilled. Um, also, up to this point, I've seen no indication that Jack admires Mar in any way. And also, he destroyed a statue earlier. Yeah. Yeah. He's a bit of a hypocrite. It's kind of like how you like Nathan Drake because he's charming, but if you actually stop and analyze, stop fact, exploding on their heads. If you actually stop and analyze what he does, you realize he's actually, um, I mean, you know, he's not evil, but he's kind of an asshole. You know? Yeah. Ooh, Jack. Nathan Drake. Oh, Nathan Drake. Yeah, like he seems charming and nice in execution, but if you actually stop and analyze his actions, he's not a Ooh. nicer person. Kind of a. Uh, you know, psycho. Psycho. Yeah, he is a psycho. I mean, he's just like killing folks just left and right without even giving it a second thought. Yeah. And then he he acts piss. Also, what annoys Fuck. me is die. that he's always cracking wise, making jokes. But then when he's serious, no one else is allowed to crack wise and make jokes. Like when he's describing the plan. No way! Yeah, they get you. Can like you that. believe that fucking shit? That's bullshit. When they um, like when he's explaining the plan in number three to his friend, and he randomly says, "Oh, Lawrence of Arabia, that was a good film." Labia. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. It's like, oh, terrific movie. And Nate, Nate just kind of pauses and then looks at him like he's just shat on his breakfast. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm being serious now. Stop cracking wise, that's my thing. It's like, you know, I like Nolan North. He's he does well to execute because he's like just got a charming charisma about him, but you know, it seems like he just swaps between being serious and being jokey and if you know you know what I mean. It's a little inconsistent character wise. It's either inconsistent or it's just selfish. Apparently they're weaker if you take out the skull gems. I didn't know that. Either that or the one-two punch is doing good for me. Hmm. Seems like there's more of them the second time around. Cool. Uh, no, nah, they were just about the same. Door jinx. So we got fucking goofy fat ass over here. We got um. Oh my god, what's the actor called who plays as, as uh, Harry? Uh, I can't remember his name. It's something like something Pacini or something, isn't it? Joe... something. Joe Pacini? Joe Pachinko. Joe Pachinko. I like One Piece. And Pachinko! Dun -dun 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 -dun. What also gets me about this mission a little bit is that don't you take an elevator to get somewhere that you could have gone really easily? Um, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know oh no, I suppose there's a drop right after the statue, isn't there? But there's like one bit where you could have cut like a load of traveling. And I know to a degree, you know, it's just the gameplay, isn't it? But, you know. Are there more behind us? Yes, mate, so there is. Oh, -ho! I only just reached that. See, I think that if I didn't have this really long gun, I wouldn't have hit that dude. Yeah. See, that's what I really like. That's why I really like like well-designed hitboxes mm. in games. They're like one of my favorite things. Jesus. I know. See, you can rush through this and take a few hits, but it is actually satisfying to time it properly, isn't it? Boom! Oh. Uh, wait, how did I get that guy? 
I guess he was just in range. Okay. Oh, did I duck that? I, I don't know if I ducked that. Nice! Yeah, using the geometry, man. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like Metal Gear, where there's actually like a good way to do things perfectly without using any extra items or without exploiting any, you know, unnatural cheat codes or anything. But you can find your ways around, find your way around it and stuff. You know what I mean? Like there's a way the developer designed that's the best way to do it. Oh, here we go. Give me all the ammos. Nah, I'm not ready. And now for the most disturbing part of the missions. Oh god, did you even did you see da Dax's face? He was like, ha <laughs> ha I didn't. I see him now though. He's determined. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, I can't wait to fuck these guys in the ass. Ah! I like I like how as the games go on, Dax does get braver. He's like the Rigby of the Jack Daxter universe. He is a bit, isn't he? Yeah. He's not like as snidey as Rigby. Yeah. Or as selfish. Well, I mean, Rigby's not wholly selfish, but he can do selfish things, can't he? Like in the movie. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm not doing any damage to these guys. Hmm. I mean, the uh, guys I'm helping, not these guys. Oh, mm. what? I'm not doing any damage to my heads. This is fucked up. I yeah, get the wave. Get away from me. I thought it was really funny how when they went to China, like Rigby was the one who um, like befriended all the Chinese people. And he was Wait, like, when was this? Wait, have you not seen this in one? In the movie? No, it wasn't in the movie. I don't think I've ever seen one where they went to China. Oh, okay, never mind, I won't say them. You asshole. Oh, now I know they go to China at some point. Well, that's a very small piece of what is... Ah, the... say that's pretty big. We've never gone anywhere that isn't it's... America I didn't... or the park. I didn't spoil the best joke of the episode, though. Well, not the best joke, but like... It's like, um... It's the framing device for the whole plot, but when Rigby explains why he's in China, and you sort of go, what? <laughs> and then at the end, it's like, well... Yeah. Who told you to... No! <laughs> no! Father! <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> Who the hell said that? Probably Jinx. You did this to me! <laughs> that heart is horny. What? It's got horns. They picked that up quickly, didn't they? Has it got horns or is it just like a really stylish hairdo? Mm. It's a hairdo, I think. No, I was talking about the horns in a... Where? I just realised that is a weird hairdo. Kind of like Kitty N, you can't tell if it's hair or if it's some sort of weird appendage. But yeah, they picked up that heart quickly. And you could tell, um, we really liked Jinx, didn't we? Because he reminded us of Harry. And I think, um, you know, the developers picked up on this because they brought him back for the sequel, didn't they? Yeah, I didn't know this until recently. I just assumed it was maybe the same voice actor and a different character. But if you say so, well, I'll believe you. So you're right. You know it says that? Uh, Johnny? Johnny Guitar! Yes, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, fuck! I think it'd be really funny if they added... It could be a mod. you just like on your jet board, and if you run straight into a wall, he'll just go... <coughs> and he'll do that the same like splat animation he does for when he falls down. Yeah. But vertical, not horizontal. I've just, I've just realized, because of that steep drop just after you leave the statue, there is actually a reason to go all the way around. So it looks like I was wrong. Yeah. Fuck you, man. I'm still, I'm still holding true to that pipe thing, though. I think the pipe was originally meant You're to holding be... holding true to the pipe. I think originally you were meant to get a key card that lets you go outside the city. And um, they eventually dropped that idea, and you just got to use the doors when they were relevant. Shall we get the gun? Yeah, of course. Of course we'll get the gun! What? Well, well, this game wouldn't be Jack 2 without this gun. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be a game, really. I mean, all of a game is pretty shit. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna speak honestly, this game is a crock of shit. <laughs> but what saves it in the end, what brings it back home, is this gun. It is da 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 the p -p 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 peacemaker. Look, look at it before you collect it. I will. Try, care to try from Call Striker? No, bitch! I want my gun. That's see, have I'm you seen the for. original designs for the Peacemaker? Uh, no. It looks like the image in um the thing. Like, collect it. And I'll show you. 
the picture. Okay. All right, our own peacemaker. What if it made the Transformers noise whenever it um winks at him? Now we're rocking, and he just goes wink. You see that silhouette there? Yeah. All the silhouettes were of how the guns were originally meant to look. Yeah. So it wasn't going to be a big, huge clip sticking out of the yellow gun. It was just supposed to look like a rifle. Oh no! It, it still looks a bit like a mouth, but it looks less like a metalhead head and more like um like a, a manufactured something yeah, that's it looks to like resemble a, yeah it looks like a gun that resembles a mouth as opposed to actually a head yeah i mean to be honest what the hell does a head do to a gun apart from make it look cool <laughs> i mean it goes for everything if you put a skull on armor it automatically looks cool there's this there's this power armor in um fallout new vegas no, it wasn't New Vegas, it was Fallout 3. Because Fallout 3 is immensely better. But this guy, instead of having like a power armor shoulder pad, one of his um, shoulder pads was a, a Brahmin skull. So it was a cow skull. Yeah. And they're about the same size. And I was like, wow, that is that is perfect. <laughs> Whoever thought that, give him a Bethesda medal. Because well, he deserves it. I mean, it's a lot of um, stuff like that takes its inspiration from Mad Max, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, um... Ah! Oh! I'm in trouble. I was in trouble the moment I left the building for some reason. Yeah. Mm. This game is <laughs> it's like, he's got a peacemaker, we cannot allow this. He's already strong as fuck. He doesn't like you. He does not like you. I think this is the one where Errol gets pissy. Uh, ready to die, boy? Um, no. I, I can't die yet. I still have a job to do. <laughs> I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. I like how whenever somebody says, Snake, you're gonna die, and that's that's automatically what he says. Like, he's just like, Snake, I'm going to kill you! But but I can't go yet! I still have a job to do! And then he does a job, and then he tries to kill himself. Was that, okay, was I can it? go now. I don't have a job to do. And I'm really old as shit, so... Yeah. Was that when I was at school, like in primary school, we were doing a bunch of nativity plays, and um, there was this girl called Emily Archer who was playing uh, Mary, and uh, everyone always laughed at because I played Joseph, her husband. <laughs> I remember this. Yeah, and there was a. <coughs> there's a I, the only reason I thought of this because there's a scene where um, she goes, "I can't go yet. I'm not ready." When the angel Gabriel comes to see her. And uh, everyone made fun of me because I was always really unattentive as a husband. I was always like trying to rush off stage before her uh, and do this and that. And, w and one guy actually asked me, can I play Joseph instead of you? Well, I think it was actually called Joe or something. And I was like, why? And he says, so I can feel Emily Arch's ass. And I was like, that's a, that's a bit of a strange thing to say. Well, at the time I thought it was strange. Hmm. This guy's a real scumbag. He's a real perv at the same time. You mean Errol or the guy what? Errol. Feel? Oh, all right. Okay. Ah, Jesus. That is precarious in the first place. I can't believe. I mean, Kira does like him, doesn't he? Well, yeah, she does. Point. She thinks she thinks he's a real cool guy. Errol's, Errol's the best want... racer I've ever seen. You don't know him. <laughs> what is it she sees in Errol? What? Do you think he like puts on a more charming persona whenever she's around him? No, just like he's like ready to die, boy. But when he goes to the girl, he's like ready to fuck, girl. <laughs> or just like uh, I'd like to imagine he puts on a um, Sean Connery impression. Like, Hello, Hello, Kira. It's it's good to see you again. Would you like to uh, Would you like to take your panties off and we'll have a little fill downstairs, will we? <laughs> I, I like the way you're working that uh, spano there. What's this little rat doing here? I think maybe you should go fuck off because I'm trying to get my game on. I like Dax's little moment here. She actually doesn't look so bad in in this in this scene. I I, mean, I was always put off because she looked a bit weird because she didn't. Was it was it that she had eyebrows or was it she had different shaped eyebrows? Dip, she had different shaped eyes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. She like, had a she massive. Used, she used to have like big uh, anime eyes, and now she has really yeah, cat -like and that's, eyes. that just left a load of room in her on her brow. Yeah, and now she has like huge forehead, yeah. like a Dragon Ball Z character. Do you know what they'd call her in Japan? Uh, what? Billboard, billboard brow. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm... you know what you'd call that in Japan? 
Fuckering you <laughs> stupid dude. I thought I was playing the first race for some reason. I forgot how to do the shortcut. Yeah, I love uh, I didn't even have to look at your face. But I just saw like the hesitation in Dax and he was like, wah, 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 wah. That's what he said. I might have to skip it this time. I'll see if I can make it. What the oh, fuck? God. Oh god! Sometimes it just I'm doesn't dead. Oh, very god. <laughs> oh my All god! Oh my god! This might be my mission then. You lied to me, do ghost Dexter. Ah! Oh no, my I entire hate civilization. All of you. And myself! Oh my god! Oh, nobody else did it. I think there was a shortcut to the right I could have taken. I think that's actually the better shortcut. Nah, I think the first one is, because it skips it entirely. No, it doesn't, does it? Yeah, it does. It, it skips does. just about as much. No, it skips the entire thing. I'm just going to have a look, alright? I'm going to try it. Yeah, just going to have a look, oh, yeah, just going to have a little bit cheeky look. Oh, you did it again. You used up your... Okay, you were pretty confident, I guess. Oh yeah, there is another one. Yeah, and see that skips all that onto the yellow thing. I guess. Or well, why don't you give it a sh give it a whirl? I don't know if time. I'll try it now since I'm in head. If I was like playing to like get the best score, I might. But um, as it stands now, I'll just be tempting fate. Well, whatever. I don't care anymore. They betrayed me. They don't keep, didn't keep their promise, and I I don't care anymore. I did not. Oh, I remember when that was actually a big thing on the internet, and now it doesn't seem to be. Like nobody, 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 nobody else who does let's plays made that reference anymore, or any other reference from the room. You know what? This episode is gonna be a heavy room episode. Uh, is it? We've yeah. only just. Um, I mean, I don't know how much time we got left. We've got minus six minutes, I think. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we'll see. Oh wait, no. I'd say the episode would end now. But oh. because we're just finishing off this mission, I'll just do it for the rest of the rest of the mission. Oh, oh, hi, Dax, sir. Oh, hi, hi, um, Tommy. <laughs> How's it going, man? Oh, you know me. <laughs> what kind of? Are we are we still going to movies? Now we still going to movies tonight? Oh, well, yeah, sure. What kind of movie are we gonna see? Well, we'll this is starting see... to sound like a Justin Roiland cartoon. Dexter, don't plan too much. It may not come out right. Oh, okay. Let's toss the let's toss the uh, oh, jet board around. That was easier than I remember it being. Shut the fuck up. You think you're all badass? Yeah. You think you you think you're you think you you think you're you think you're not alive? Do no. You? There's a specific. I'm just watching it. Yeah. Oh, you think you know bad? You think you're no bad? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. I was wa I was watching a remix of um One Punch Man's theme with Metal Gear Rising, and towards the end, he was like, "Who's doing this? Such a last for revenge!" Ooh. Oh, you know, school face. Oh, okay. I want to do that someday. I want two people to drag me by the elbows while I'm going. Such lust for revenge! No. <gasps> no, not right. Oh, and they just have a, like a girl talk afterwards, just like so. What? What did he? Did he? Did he like not let you finish or something? <laughs> I was like, no, he's just a, he's just an asshole. He used to be such a nice guy, and then he started talking. Oh, I've been there, sister. They just talk all the time. <laughs> they just talk about themselves. Look at this small man. He's actually, no, he's so small. No, get over it, you little small man. No, no, I, I don't like social interaction. Leave me alone. I'm just a lone redhead with a brown mustache. It's weird, but in all of the scenes, Tess looks fine. But next to Kira, for some reason, she looks really underdressed. What are you talking about? All the characters are underdressed. Well, I know. What does the hell that they have massive tits? Uh, I suppose not. But I mean, for some reason, it never occurred to me until she was next to Kira. I was like, wow, she's not... Like, those are some short shorts. Yeah, she's showing belly button, and she's showing legs, she's showing a bit of uh, vulva. <laughs> I don't think anybody else can see that. I have the sight. I have the vulva sight. Oh. Okay, and on that, let's end this vulva sight episode on me talking about vulva sight. Ah! You need to take a cold shower! 
He didn't do anything for ages. You see that? He didn't do anything for ages. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Bye. See ya.